uh, filming hunting. <laughs> I talked. I was talking to uh, talked to Jim about that a little bit, and I talked to Ryan Gresham over at Gun Talk Radio. He goes, yeah. And he, he, we were we were joking with each other because it's like, yeah, when you go to film a hunt, you're filming first, hunting second. Yeah, it is. Have you done so much more hunting? stressful than just like uh, we're we're going down, we're doing some stuff with um, the guys down at IREC Veteran eighty eight eighty eight, um, okay. and a lot of times we'll do kind of the review kind of stuff. That's easy, but filming a hunt. That's like 10 times the effort and it's satisfying, but there's all these, all these variables. And yeah, like you said, you're first and foremost being there to film stuff. And then, Oh, by the way, have your shit together to, <laughs> to hunt too. Oh man. <laughs> what, what have, have you been on camera hunting before? Uh, behind the scenes. Oh, yeah. Well, actually uh, I did one recently and um, was doing, uh, has some good guys in Puerto Rico. We're doing iguana hunting. Cause I'm telling you, if you want to go for a vacation, go to Puerto Rico where, the missus will be happy because it's Puerto Rico. It's beautiful, but yeah. there's so much iguana hunting and, th and there's a huge need down there. Those, those iguanas need to be cold it, compared to Florida. They're monsters in size. And uh, so yeah, I had my side shot and stuff like that. And it was a whole level of whole other level of just working and getting the, uh, the shots right. And worried about, you know, hit and record and then get the shot and <laughs> pressure. Right. Yeah. No doubt. No doubt. I, I Maybe, I don't know if you can speak to this, but like, I remember seeing an article in, I think, Outdoor Life years ago on Iguana in Puerto Rico with their guns. Do you know, like, why or how that got started, like, as, as a destination? Because there's not, like, there's a whole lot of destination things for, yet, for air gun hunting. I mean, I think that we can help build those through the platform. That's yeah. something in, that tra in the tradition sense, uh, like we are just talking about, I think we could accomplish how did Puerto Rico and air guns and Iguanas all become synonymous? Do you have any idea? Yeah, it's a good question. You know, it just, you know, from, cause there's a, the, there's a group down there, Guana Hunters, Abner and Rafael that I've, you know, gotten to be friends with. And um, first of all, there's the need, right? Cause the Iguanas are out of control there. And there's a lot of farming in Puerto Rico and, and it'll just, it'll decimate crops. It'll cost these farmers a lot of money. And, and, and keep in mind a place like Puerto Rico, it's not like it's a thriving state economy. They've been, they get hammered by hurricanes and stuff. So it's, you know, in general, the, the, uh, what people are living off in Puerto Rico is a lot less than stateside. So I think it's just kind of grown where these farmers uh, have really needed that. And air guns is, is kind of the go-to for all the, the reasons of, you know, you're just shooting iguana. You don't need to worry about the, the farm next door, all these kind of things. Yeah. And then you got the destination of Puerto Rico. I mean, beaches, sun, great yeah. weather year round. Um, you know, one of the biggest cruise part cruise ports is in Puerto Rico. So I think it's kind of those combinations and you get the advantage of, well, I, I'm traveling. I feel like I'm traveling to somewhere exotic, but I'm still in the, you know, United States since it's a region. So right. you got a lot of things coming together and, and, um, you're right though. It's like, why is that grown so quickly? Cause it has kind of turned into a destination place unofficially and it keeps, yeah. keeps getting more and more, um, well known as a go-to place. Right. Well, one of the things that I know, I know I talked about talked about it with you for a little bit was uh, trying to build some of these experiences, and yeah. I think building an experience for the the, the membership, um, I think doing that might be. I know that would be a popular, a popular. Oh, it's a blast. It's something where um, I, I, I took my wife doing it, and you know, I th it's interesting because. You know, as with, with what you hunt, if they look cute and furry, you know, a lot of people, I don't want to hunt, even though there's a huge need, but iguanas, it's almost universally like, yeah, I have no problem right. <laughs> hunting the iguana. Uh, so it's something that uh, you can really take the family and do. And it, it's a great way, especially with iguana, you know, one of the biggest things with hunting is education. People don't realize that there's a need and how much, it, you know, hunting and uh, the right animal, the right season, all these things can really help the environment, the people. It's not this, oh, it serves a purpose, right? right. And, and I feel like iguanas is, a, is an easy story to show and tell and where people, it starts clicking for people. And then that, that expands to other um, game as they start to understand the role that hunting uh, plays, let alone the idea if you, you know, you're, you're hunting to put food on the table and, and things mm -hmm. like that. 